This used to be an old Navy research facility up here in the mountains, San Gabriel Mountains. And uh, they used to test um, like uh, underwater stuff here for the Navy, torpedoes and such. But it's been closed down for several years. Beautiful place though. Too bad they don't let people go down there and fish. Looks like the door cemented shut here. This little command box. There's steps and a ramp that go all the way down to the water. It's a couple of hundred feet down. Looks like there's another platform down there. But I'm not going down there. Got some steps going up this way, but it's all overgrown. I don't know what it goes to and I don't want to crawl through a bunch of bushes and stuff just to find out that there's nothing of interest. Man-made structure by the military. Millions of dollars spent. All to be abandoned and get absorbed right back into nature. I gotta walk all the way back up that. structures down there or bunkers or anything. What is that across the way? Some sort of bunker or structure. Probably have to get over there by boat. But no boats are allowed on here so wonder what's in those barrels. Boat ramp going down into the water. Yeah, so the Navy guys could launch their little boats and go get their little torpedoes. I'm looking at that right there. Some sort of a wall, maybe to an enclosure or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It doesn't look like there's anything up there but uh, empty walls. So I'm not going to expend the energy to get there. But I've noticed all around here have these 
access panels monitoring well and they're all over this lower part down here there's another one right there there's like two more that way to the right there's some fuel tanks Yeah, probably. It's probably the big fuel tank area. Ah, fig tree. Wild fig tree. None of them are ripe, so we're not going to eat any. I wonder what this area was used for. lot more to this place than it looks and knowing the military they probably have something inside the hill like a bunker or something So I hit that other platform up on the hillside that I pointed out from down below. But like I said, there's nothing here. Just a platform, some walls, some mounts on the ground. I probably had some sort of cranks or pulleys or something like that to move things up and down. Remember that staircase I saw going up? It was all blocked by bushes and stuff. That's the top of it right there. So I'm thinking it just went up to the water tower. It's a good thing I didn't go through all those bushes just to find a water tower. Well, it's an awfully cool day today, but I'm wearing a heavy jacket. I'm sweating my butt off. All right. That's all you see of the facility is this little hump, pretty much, from the road. That's a big old turkey vulture. And this is the front gate to the facility. Pretty unassuming, one entrance, fences all around. Up in, uh, I, I told you I was up in the San Gabriel Mountains. And uh, this place up here, also known as Azusa Canyon. And Azusa Canyon has several splits and one's the East Fork and the East Fork there's gold <clears throat> and uh, it's actually one of the first gold rushes here in California that uh, you just don't hear too much about and uh, but it was pretty pretty big gold rush uh, we even had Chinese working out here they were doing hydraulicking and um, hydraulicking and uh, you know the guys with their pans and their sluices and whatnot but 
that's uh it's got some history up here i've done some gold mining up here i used to run a four inch dredge with air yeah i just noticed something where that bridge is there right below that's where i, wa I walked down to but i just noticed over from there there's another cutout right there it's kind of blurry hang on i can't get it to focus but right there that looks interesting it looks like it goes into the mountain right there darn it i'm not gonna walk all the way back down there i'll have to do it on another day and another trip and then i'll make a video of that but anyways great canyon san gabriel mountains Azusa Canyon. There's also, uh, they have a family of eagles that lives up here. American bald eagle. I think there's two or four of them. And, uh, yeah, they're, they're around. They can be seen. Who knows? Maybe that, uh, turkey vulture that we saw up there was, uh, was an eagle. I, I couldn't really see him. I just assumed he was a turkey vulture. But, um, great place. Here's a better view of the one side I couldn't really get to. There is a little control tower. I couldn't get to this big slide. I did walk down here, though. And here's a better view of the dam that holds all of this in. So everybody always asks what that long ramp is. And what I'm assuming is since they were doing torpedo testing for the Navy here, that uh, that basically they put a torpedo up there and let it go down that ramp into the water. And it simulated... A drop from an airplane is what my guess is. What do you think? That's great. So guys, this is uh, the uh, California bald eagles that I was telling you about that, that are up here. This is a nest with two babies in it. And the babies are huge, and this one's just sitting there. He's been out flapping his wings. We don't know where mom and dad are. They're probably out getting food, but this guy's sitting up here, and he's flapping his wings, maybe getting ready to fly. So that'll be kind of cool to see. Well, friends, that about does it for uh, this video. Again, thanks for watching. And uh, once again, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Help me out. All right, guys. God bless. Take care.